You mentioned Miami's skill position players, and they really put a lot of money into that this offseason. They already had Waddle and Mike Gusecki. They get Hill, Cedric Wilson, Sony Michelle, Chase Edmonds, Raheem Mostert, not even counting on the offensive line, and Armstead and Connor Williams. They have built so much on this offense, especially the skill position. Those. How do you think that group of skill position players ranks up with the better teams in the league? Because on paper, that team – that just wide receivers, tight ends, running backs, looks to be as good as any any team out there. I mean, I'm not going to say it's the best because it's not, but how do you think they rank up? I think you used the proper words there, Mike, on paper. On paper, yeah. it does look very good because we know what Hill accomplished in Kansas City. We know what Waddle did essentially at Alabama, and now he's starting to – make his inroads in his career. Cedric Wilson, like I mentioned, really blossomed a bit last year with the Cowboys. Gesicki, I think, is a, a, a fine young tight end. I'm another – I'm a Durant Smythe guy too, so I think that could be an effective tandem. Mostert, I loved him out in San Francisco. That was probably a key reason he wound up with the Dolphins because, you know, of his uh, alliance with Mike McDaniel, although Mostert's had some injury problems the last few years. On paper – it looks to be maybe not the best, but just thinking right off the top of my head, could be a top sort of third in the league. But again, this, everybody's got to get into the system. Everybody's got to get assimilated to all of it. And of course, two has got to make the bus drive. He's got to be the driver to this team. So they've surrounded him with with these weapons, which I think are a dramatic upgrade from what they've had. But again, only time's going to tell if two is the guy to you know make all these weapons work in concert to help the Dolphins be better offensively.